Amanda Seals finally jumped on Instagram Live with Adrian Barlon and Jeannie Mai to address the situation being left off the real reunion and final episode. It's Mal TV. All day, every day. Bringing you all the latest headlines, breaking stories, drama, cloud chasers, and everything trending in the streets. Now, they got into it on this Instagram Live. Finally, they confronted it. They uh, covered some of uh, things going on in their lives, but then they got into the real the real Guilty. drama of what people are here for and why, you know, let's discuss it. Right. So with that being said, Amanda had the opportunity to ask the girls a few quick questions about why she was left off of the reunion. And with that being said, we have seen Amanda go to her IG on many occasions to throw shots, you know what I mean, at the cast and crew. So with that being said, it kind of left her to the curb whenever it came to any future endeavors that the real may have, just like this reunion. You're left out, baby girl. So it gave Adrian and Jenny the opportunity to kind of explain, I guess, really their opinion, not really the opinions and the decision of the producers and directors on the back end but they did what they could to kind of make it copacetic i guess in the end and stay friendly you know that's my point but yeah so they got into it they didn't really get into it like i wanted to but they addressed the whole situation they're really pinning it all on the producers they're even saying that they pulled like school tactics to separate them when they was getting a little into it too much and i guess it didn't uh rub them the right way yeah so uh, this is the way i see it though it's so funny because from our end like the viewership we're looking at the main characters being responsible because we think that they have a lot of input in the way the show is ran right yeah because they're the faces of it absolutely so whenever it comes down to this we don't know who produces we don't really pay attention to the critics yeah that's the thing it's not like we can't figure out who all these people are it's that the mass audience aren't going to pay attention because it's not the faces of the show the producers are behind the cameras behind the computers behind the editing behind the papers so they're not there we don't know what we're really discussing besides what's going on with the hosts and especially when like they're saying a lot of that is off camera they're there a majority of the day and it's only a little 45 minute filming session yeah but with that being said though it's also going to make a lot of people you know what i mean like I want to say cloud chase to the next person that we don't even know and then make them be a, be a celebrity like these producers and directors that do make decisions that's all I'm saying I'm looking at this in a different make them a public figure you mean absolutely but I'm going to tell you this you know the point of Amanda Seals getting together with Adrian and Jenny is a good thing because now we can see that their relationship is genuine I guess from looking outside in right I am going to say there was a lot of head tilting would you know what I mean if we all know that's a little bit of uh you know like um theater training whenever you are uh skidded you know what i mean you're reading put on a show absolutely when you're remembering your lines okay and um and it's just like a head tilt it's just something well they are on live it's all in front of a mask they know it the blogs are all going to cover it this story's going to go viral they already know that they're the spotlight's on them so they really are putting on a show absolutely so with that being said we can believe that they're friendly you know on the back end and we can believe that they're going to blame you know directors and producers but the majority of the decision making this is just my opinion does come from the cast and crew because they are the faces of the show it's easy to blame someone else okay but in this uh, little story here you know it's a good I'm- point that you're bringing that up because the, the the thing that bothers me and just like people have been saying on the streets i've know they've watched commentary videos on the situation how could they not yeah. it's about them yeah but the, the thing that's being left out is why did they not stand up for it mm-hmm I hear nothing about that being discussed. Jeannie and them looked at each other and you felt something was off. You know, uh, Garcelle's getting her moment. But y'all didn't bring up. And y'all are over here emotional about it all. But I guess, you know, it is a self-reflection type of thing. They weren't really taking too much consideration to their co-hosts. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm at not- the end of the day, if y'all are really good with her that deep, it should have been a discussion. Wait, wait, wait. How are we planning this and putting all this together? make sure amanda's a part of this right well if you only got two girls backing her up that's not the majority of the cast so we see where that yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? now allegedly lonnie love i didn't see her uh the little right receipt there. pop up on the uh my devices but definitely people were saying lonnie's in the room lonnie's watching lonnie's mm-hmm. here she did not tune in uh right. to, to get up. on the live okay okay i mean that shows a lot about her character Stop. i think she was kind of taking a Take step back and kind of evaluating back. like where is this gonna go is it gonna lead to something about me because she's been the victim of a lot of blamation 
over on the reel and the production team great point. the production team let those headlines run for a long time that lonnie love was the one who was destroying the crew and destroying all the relationships so th- the producers right then and there let it know where their stance is absolutely which is also looking at i'm looking at lonnie's side i like you know what as another black woman she really needs you and she's been asking for, for your support so it does it shows me a lot about lonnie's character but we know she's about money on the floor lonnie is about you know she's she's different but as long as she's been working with other people it's always been a color issue with lonnie let's not beat her on the bush she will let you know so i'm gonna let you know secondly and that seems to be what they bonded over when amanda came it seemed like they were really close because they could both bond on that speaking up for the black skin right no but with that being said that's what i'm saying amanda's probably gonna be wrapped up in her feelings i'm gonna be surprised too as big as a mouth as amanda has that she won't put it back on blast on another you know insto post that uh you know lonnie you know she'll probably out her like i'm thinking you know what i mean that maybe if it's not come up already that she probably will later have like a you know dear lonnie notice you were in the crowd boo but you know and when i needed you i mean i'm just saying it's gonna come out because the is that kind of emotional character she is okay so with that being said i'm glad that it came out i guess the way it did i wish that there would have been more characters okay to stand up and go hey we all did not have anything to do with this but um two characters is better than none uh with that being said we'll see you know what i mean we'll see because whatever bothers amanda she gonna let us know but one of my thoughts about this whole situation is I don't think this would happen on a lot of other major shows, especially the ABCs, Absolutely. The View. It's more white oriented. I'm just saying these urban shows really do blackball people when things go wrong. But when it comes to The View, a very white, very European oriented show, it gets a lot of drama, a lot of fights going on with the producers and the the the, the hosts. The the talent has a lot of opinions on the producers, especially, and they're not left off of these types of things. They're still involved in the reunions. They're still involved in the comebacks. They may pull up a little extra security to be around them to make sure they don't step out of line and they don't put their hands on nobody or nothing. But there's always a loud back on the set. So uh, why it was really shady this way when it came to the real right, I is, is were, the real the real problem here. No, no. I actually thought that they were uh, a lot different than the other networks as well. Um, but mm, you know what I mean? They want to segregate everybody. And, and it, it's really hard to be on a cast and crew being with the directors and the producers because normally they'll bring you like the topics to talk about they'll tell you exactly what you cannot talk about or what you can't bring up that right there is just a little crazy to me because whenever you think about the characters not having any dibs on what goes on i'm just i I don't believe it you know what i mean like a part of me is like no i don't believe it however it could be just an acting job you're here to do your job and it's just that you know what i mean you don't make no decisions so We want to hear what you have to say in the comment section below about this whole situation. Now, I know that Amanda will come back because her story is always to be continued. Okay? But, um... It is what it is. Tell us what you guys think in the comments down below. It's Mount TV bringing you all the latest and headlines, breaking stories, drama, cloud chasers, and everything trending in the streets. You want to be a part of the show? Hit us up on the Instagram or right down below in the comment section. It, hit us up on the Instagram at Mouth TV. Send us your videos, your pictures, anything you want discussed here on the show. And if you want to be a part of the show, interviewed, have your own segment aired on the show, whatever you want. Hit us up with your detailed plan on how you want to be a part of it. It's Mouth TV and we are out.